Well, guys, we're doing a. We got the cab up in the air. Now, we're going to start, first of all, doing a compression test. The way we do that is you take glow plugs, which are right up in here. Let me shine, see if you can see. See that hole? These are the glow plugs. I already have them out, but you see the screw? They screw up into that hole right down yonder. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna rig up to do a test, a compression test. We're gonna do it on every single cylinder and we're gonna see how, which cylinder's not doing right. And then we'll see which, which side we gotta dig in a little more. All right, guys, so I'm doing the compression test right up in here if you can see there's holes where I done took out the glow plugs I got battery connected we're finna pull this to push to run the starter you know and over here is gonna tell us if we do a good compression test or not you gotta give it a few revolutions all right let me go hit it hit it boss Free that, release that gauge. Alright. <coughs> well, right now it's showing 100, but a while ago I did that one and it had showed 200 and it was holding. Uh, Let me put a. Uh, hold. Hold. Oh, well, I got fluid pumping out of this. Uh. Alright. Go ahead. <laughs> it's still going. Right now it's eighteen uh one eighty. While ago I did it. Huh? All right. Same spot. Same spot. 180. All right, guys. Well, so far we got these valve covers off. We had to take a lot of other stuff off first, including the turbo. That was that was a project in itself. All these uh, front. We'll go to the back show you. So far we've got these back exhaust pipes. All this intake turbo right here. See? I don't know if you can see real good or not. There it's shot. This is what it should be like. No movement. No movement. Also, the maintenance looks really, really poor. This sludge, 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 just sludge everywhere. Let me get, let me get down to the heads, and I'll get with y'all a little bit. All right, guys. So, some of you probably have already seen shit like this. But if you're anything of a rookie like I was when I first began, then you probably have never seen anything like this in your life. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown. We took the valve covers off. We took the fuel rail off. And then, then after the fuel rail, we got the injector plate right here. This holds the injector harness as well. After that, you pull your injectors out. And that leaves you free to start pulling your valve assemblies and then you're able to get your push rods and your bri valve bridges out this is we already got the head out as well and we got and they're pretty really really tough to get out so but if you notice it looks very really caked up on here 
farm maintenance. You know, you know, it happens. I see it quite often, actually. Bag ahead don't look too bad, but we'll have to do a little more close-up examination. Right now, we're in here pulling lifter rollers, inspecting them, just seeing what, make sure they're not pitted, make sure they're not Make sure just, just turn the roll and make sure they're not bad. But yeah, but right here, I did find another problem. Like I said, a turbo shot. We found some keepers for the valves that are, well, they were broken off. Little, found little pieces of metal up in there. Or, uh, I'm sorry, not metal, but two clips, put a keeper cable clips. And then get my little headlamp and if you notice you can see the gap down there on piston you know, compared to these see how sealed it is around there more and more not such a gap but over here you see a big old gap right there so that's what we're looking into now we're gonna have to take this out obviously this is not gonna work something that we're gonna have to do something and we're just going to have to figure out what our next step is here, guys. So I just wanted to get with y'all, give y'all an idea, see what's, show y'all what's going on here. Well, guys, every time we meet, this engine's getting smaller and smaller. We done took off the pan. You'll have to remove the air compre AC compressor here and undo your starter cables. You also have, <coughs> excuse me, a negative cable right here to take off. And you have these transmission lines. They'll be on the side of the intermediate plate that's between the oil pan and the block. Back yonder. These cool, these fuel lines, the fuel lines went to about right here. And you had to disconnect them. You'll need your little special tools for that. And then your motor mounts. You know, be reading right there. You chain, we chain right here and we hoist it up. Right on. And then once we got it up, of course, it would be it would be bad, pretty badass if everything was smooth. We could just replace some, one part and go back together, and boom, it's all back to normal. Unfortunately, it's not the case. We taking out the pan. This came out with the pan. We're still trying to figure out exactly. What part this is too thick for it to be a bearing so this is the piston that we took out we saw bad remember if y'all remember we saw that it was ate up right there and then we're, we're observing the surface this seems nice and slick but over here it is tore up so as we went to clean the cylinder see how it looks you can definitely tell Cylinder's nice and slick over there. Then it gets scratched up right here. So, this is right here. And the reason I'm making these videos is because giving you an idea. You decide you want it in this business, you decide you want to be a mechanic, diesel mechanic at that. This is the cool shit you're going to be seeing. Don't think you can't do it. And like I always say, if you got money and time, go to school. If not, get your ass in the shop and start learning. It's only a matter of time before you be doing exactly the same thing I'm doing and learning exactly the same thing, the same way I am. Y'all have a good day, guys.